All right, today I have a GMC Sierra pickup truck with a 5.3 liter. It came in with the check engine light flashing and it missing really, really bad. So I started looking into it and it had a code 300 random misfire and a code 300 pending random misfire. It didn't give me exactly which cylinder was missing. So I pulled out my scanner and plugged into the computer and started looking at the misfire counts. And it said misfire on cylinder one and cylinder number three. So I started checking cylinder number one and cylinder number three. I had no spark on either cylinder. I'm like, that's kind of weird. So let me pull one of the coils back from there and switch it up here and see if I have spark. When I did that, I had no spark. Then I realized this whole bank didn't have spark. So sometimes you cannot really rely on the computer to give you the proper misfire counts. So started looking into this a little bit more and the coil has four wires. It has a power wire, it has a ground wire, it has a wire that goes to the computer that tells the computer that the coil is, I'm not even sure what you would call that. And then you have the computer wire that comes in that fires the coil. It's missing its ground on this side. So the ground is supposed to be down here where I have my socket and my ratchet attached to. So first thing I did, I went down there and I grabbed it and I wiggled on it. Once I wiggled on it, I lost the ground to the other side so now the truck won't start. So I'm gonna take this apart and take a look. This truck really isn't that rusty and crusty, but I have to take that connection apart and see what's going on with the ground. So I believe the wire that is on the left, since it has two ground wires on it, that one right there is the wire we need to look at. It's looking kind of, not too green, not like the second one, but I do believe I'm gonna have to cut that off and put a new connector on there and uh, see if that takes care of the problem. Let's see if I can get the light back a little farther. It, it looks okay, but it might be all corroded inside and not making a good connection. So we'll cut that off and put another end on it and see if that takes care of this car's problem. I decided to come underneath the car, so I took the, uh, I call this thing the rat catcher cover in front of this. I don't know how many times I've taken this thing off and a rat has fallen out or a dead bird. But if you, let me see if I can zoom in on this right here. If you notice right there, come on camera, focus. It looks like this, this top one, right where my thumb is, the top one is broken. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off, put a new end on, and see if that takes care of the problem. I bet you it will. So, okay, here's a shot of it after repair is done. As you can see right up here, I put a yellow butt connector on, and it's bolted back together. It's nice and clean. Now, one thing you want to be sure to do is there's another threaded hole down here. That bolt will not thread in that hole. It must be metric and this must be American or this one's American and that one must be metric. So be sure you're putting the bolt in the right hole. Don't force it in. If it doesn't go, don't force it in because you might crack the block. I started putting it in the wrong hole. I was like, why is this bolt going in so hard? It came out so easy that I realized, hey, I'm on the wrong hole. So there is the repair. The truck does start now. And here's a better look at the connector over here. Here is the connector. Oh yeah, there we go. Let me rotate this around. You can see that it's broken right in there. And see the green corrosion. I still have my camera zoomed in, so that is a problem. Now I saw somebody else on the internet that said, oh my truck won't start, it had no power on this wire. So they ran a ground up by the coil pack. Well the problem is, is you're running the... So one of the wires comes in here and the other side runs in here so if one of the wires is broken and you got to jump up top you got to jump up top to make it run you're grounding it up top and it's still running through this connector and back out to the other coil not a proper fix because this other side could break and then that one side would dead it's better to fix it like i did go right to the source of the problem and repair it at the source all right thanks for watching if you like the video give me a thumbs up and please subscribe